What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm back on a 40 hour round trip to Virginia and back. Picking up this beast right behind me. It is the best pressure washing skid on the market right now, bar none. Okay, I'm fixing to show you exactly why. Absolutely insane road trip for the second time in the last six months. If you guys saw my trailer, I picked it up from the same place. All clean power wash systems in Waynesboro, Virginia, led by Brian Gear. Absolutely amazing guy. And I know a lot of you guys are stuck in the wake of Sean Hodges with Arkansas soft wash skids and all that whole mess, okay? Check out what I'm fixing to show you right here. Let me know what y'all think. The link is going to be down in the description for all clean power wash systems. Doesn't matter if you get the flagship model right here or you get some of the uh, lower systems, maybe a, a, tra a basic trailer setup or maybe the flagship trailer, okay? If you use code Austin Davis 5 at checkout on the website, you'll get 5% off. And I know 5% off doesn't mean like, doesn't sound like much, but on a, you know, 18, 20, $25,000 skid or trailer, that could be a thousand, 1500, $2,000. Okay, let's get right into this system. I'm fixing to show you guys exactly why I think this is the best skid on the market. Bam! All right, let's start right at the front. Okay, we have an eight gallon per minute cold water machine. This baby's got about six hours on it, guys. I did use it on this big church job that I just got done cleaning. So it does have a little bit of dirt on it. I did just put it through a ringer cleaning this big old church. But anyway, eight gallon per minute cold water system, five gallon gas tank, really, really simple and easy right next to the gas machine. Right underneath there, look at all this real estate right here. This is something that you do not see on a lot of skid builders, okay? A lot of skid builders out there, what do you see? It's hectic, it's compact, there's hoses going every which direction and it's it can be really, really complicated for someone just getting into the business to understand. This is why I really, really love Brian Gears set up the way that he goes through and builds his equipment. It's not just an advanced level system. It's also super easy to understand for a beginner. Okay, so all this real estate right here, you can put some nice toolboxes, maybe some gloves, some your pistols, your guns, anything you need, PPE equipment. Right underneath here is your window cleaning system. This is your Tucker window cleaning system. This is a stage four system. We have our, our tank right here, our two filters, and we have our DI system setup tank right there. Super easy to get out. You open the tailgate, pull your hose, boom, right there. Ideally, I know on my trailer, I have all my hose reels on the right side, which would be all these three hose reels in my window cleaning system. But obviously on a six foot bed, you're not gonna be able to do that. So it's right underneath here. Still super, super cool and easy and clever how it is. You do not want any of your hose reels on the left side of your truck, okay? When you pull up to a house, you want all your hose reels facing that way because what are you doing? You're pulling up to the side of the house, house is right here, hose reels go that way. They shouldn't go that way. So if you're getting a skid that the hose reels are facing the other direction, I mean, what do you, I mean, what are you doing, okay? Another really, really cool thing that Brian Gear supplies all the skids with on the window cleaning portion is a nice window cleaning TDS measure, okay? So if I wanna take this off right here, this bottom portion off, I can put some water in there for my water fed pole and I can test the water on here. Anything below a 10 is gonna be perfect for window cleaning. If it's anything above a 10, 30, 50, 60, 70, you know that your filters are going bad. You should replace them and at that point, that's how I know I need to replace these filters with some better ones. So it's nice to have a reader right here. You can check your water when you're cleaning your windows every so often because if you go above a 10 and you try cleaning your windows, it's gonna leave spots and it's not gonna work. So having a little uh, window cleaning reader is gonna be crucial if you're operating a really, really solid window cleaning business. That way you don't spend all this time cleaning windows and then all of a sudden it starts spotting. You can test your water before every single job and you can make sure that the water reading is gonna be clear enough. That way you can clean windows without any spots. Let's go to the right side of the truck first, okay? We have our Midwest power washing systems. Okay, this is our remote downstream injector. I'm crazy about these things. Now look guys, whether you're a soft washer or you're a downstreamer, maybe you don't like touching the downstreamer, whatever, what have you, downstreaming is something you should definitely look into consider doing and incorporating in your business. Super quick way to wash houses, but of course you do need your soft wash system ready to go when you need it. But the beautiful thing about this, okay, works on a remote and this has a 250 foot range. So I could be 200 foot all the way around this side of the house and then hit my bleach right here. Okay, boom, and I'm getting bleach. Now the cool part about this that separates this from any other injector out there is if you're using a downstream injector, you would have to manually take out your dipstick in and out of your bleach tank. The cool part about this, all you gotta do is if it's on, it's sucking bleach. Okay, when you hit the off button, now it's this this little dial is turning and now you're letting in water okay so the injector is always on it's never not on when this is off it's sucking water so needless to say when you're over here rinsing the whole house not only are you rinsing out the house but you are rinsing your injector so you never have to worry about 
remembering to go back and flush your injectors or putting your dipstick into a water tank. It's all done manually for you, which is beautiful because it makes your injectors last longer because we are humans and sometimes we do forget. So if I go on, I'm sucking bleach. And if I wanna put on some soap, my soap valve is there to do so if I need any kind of surfactant. And if I wanna go off, Okay, now I am sucking through water, which is just beautiful. Right underneath here, actually I forgot to mention, we have a nice little window cleaning PSI gauge. So sometimes when you're getting water through a person's house, maybe you don't know the water pressure could be different. This little gauge will tell you exactly how much pressure you're getting out of your water fed pole, which is a nice little detail that Brian Gear thought of. Obviously we have our dump valve, let out water. Moving around here, obviously guys, the skid is a little dirty. Okay, like I said, I did kind of put it through the ringer before I made this video. We did a church job, okay? I don't I don't buy this equipment, just, just sit it in the, in the shop. It is a work skid, so I am actively using it. But going over here, the beautiful thing, the nice upgrade for my business is three Kings electric hose reels. Super stoked about this. Makes reeling it up and reeling it in super easy. I never have felt electric hose reels in the four years I've been doing this. I've always been hand cranking them. There's nothing wrong with hand cranking your hoses. I've definitely built some amazing cannons, okay, by doing this, but this is a nice little upgrade to have. We have our high pressure soft wash hose right here and our Flexzilla garden hose. This I believe has a hundred foot of Flexzilla. I probably will add an extra 50 foot section because here in Texas, we got big one acre lots. I'm always gonna need a little bit of extra hose line. 250 foot of Curatech and we have 200 foot of high pressure hose. Super, super cool. And I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but the way that these skids are designed, the actual platform is built by Cedar Creek Innovations, a really, really stunning skid builder out of Houston. Or I believe they're, I don't think they're out of Houston. Correct me if I'm wrong, anyone who know, actually knows where these are from, but Brian Gear at All Clean Power Wash Systems, they work together on these skids. He, Brian gets all of his skids from Cedar Creek Innovations. And the cool part about these particular platforms is you see how it comes out at a 40 to five degree angle. On my last skid, it ended right here and it just went straight down. If my J rods or my, my little connectors, my quick connects happened to have a little leak, what was it doing? It was leaking straight down my truck and into my wheel well, okay? The way that they thought about this is super clever because if you do happen to have a leak, what's it gonna do? It's gonna go right off the J-Rod and it's gonna go right onto this metal and it's gonna not hit your truck. Super clever on each side. So maybe if you're leaking from the J-Rod or maybe if you're leaking from the soft wash box side, super clever the way they thought about this. Another th quick thing to note. Look at these welds. Are these not the best welds you have ever seen on a skid? I mean, even looking over here, I do understand it's pretty hard to weld aluminum, at least welding it perfectly. And those are some pretty solid welds. I mean, this thing is, it is not moving. There is not a single hiccup in this thing. I can't find one place where it cricks. Just a stout machine, stout, stout platform we have right here. So three electric hose reels going this way. Let's go back around and you'll notice also as well, this ladder rack, you have pins in here, okay, on each side or here and up there. So if you want to raise this ladder rack, you can depending on, you know, on your garage, wherever you keep it. Maybe you want your ladders a little higher, a little lower. This whole ladder rack moves up and down. Not something you see on a lot of builders out there, okay? A lot of the builders out there that use, that build equipment, it's stout, it's the same. You know, there's no, there's no adjusting or moving anything. And you'll also see right here, I have a nice little surface cleaner rack that is built for a 24 inch Whirlaway surface cleaner. You can actually more or less pick and choose how you want the size of your surface cleaner rack. I just went with the 24 inch because I normally rock 24 inch. If you want to do 20 inch, you can do 20 inch as well. So super cool touch having the surface cleaner rack right here. Because normally if you had a truck skid and you didn't have a setup where you have a surface cleaner rack, you're either throwing it on top of the ladder rack where the ladder racks are supposed to go, or maybe you're shoving it in the truck. So that's beautiful. Actually going back over here, we actually have a little switch. Okay, and the cool part about this is whenever you're charging your soft wash box, you know, this downstream injector is always on, right? And it's always gonna take a little bit of power. It's always gonna trickle power, it's, you know, over the days and whatnot. So if you're not charging it, turning this off when you don't need it, it's a cool touch. If you happen to not charge it, but you have it sitting in the driveway overnight or a few days and you go out to work, well, this will take a little bit of power 
just because it's always on right now. It's, it's always having, it's always connected to the battery. So being able to turn this off and making sure the whole system isn't taking any power is great if you do forget to plug it in. All right, so looking on top of the skid, we actually, you'll see you have three tanks right here. You're probably wondering what kind of tanks these are. These are three 100 gallon tanks. The first one is gonna be your bleach and the second two are actually gonna be your water. Okay, so in an effort to save you know room on this skid, a lot of people that have these, these truck skids, maybe they're using big old circular and oval shaped, big old honking water tanks. Really, really cool upgraded 100 gallon single rectangular tanks. Now the cool part is, if you look over here, okay, I'm not sure if you can see it, but the water, when you put water in this truck, I'll move right over here, water hose connects to this bigot. You have a four way diverter right here, okay? This one's water. These are gonna be your soap, your degrease or winterized tank and then you have your water fed pole. When I'm hooking up to water, water is going into this tank. And then if you go over here, if you look down there, you can see we have our pipe. And so both of these front back tanks share the water level. So as I'm putting water into that front 100 gallon tank, it's gonna be raising the level of the second water tank. These two are my water tank that pretty much fuels the whole skid. So as I add water to this tank, because these two tanks are connected, the water level rises together and when I'm using it for soft washing or power washing, the water level drops together because the two tanks are connected on the bottom side, but it does fill up this tank. When I'm putting the water into my skid, it does only fill this tank, but it's filling both of the tanks because they're connected. So when I hook up to the spigot, water isn't going into this tank. It's only going into this tank, but because it's connected down below, they rise at the same level, which is super, super cool. Coming back over here, we have our all clean power wash system, nice little sticker here. A lot of you guys like how they have a nice little menu, let's call it, of what single percentages can clean each single surface you're cleaning. So, you know, one to 2%, 3%, 4% and five to 6% and all the different things that it cleans at certain percentages. So a lot of you new guys that are getting into the business, this might be something really, really cool to refer to. Ratios above are listed as starting points. Always do a test spot before cleaning any surface. 100% true. Okay, so we have our nice little blend manifold system right here. Water, soap, chemical. You can have a soap two line if you do want. You can connect that yourself, but for the purposes of what 99% of the time, what we need, water, soap, bleach. Okay, so water, soap, and bleach. I'm fixing to fire this up for you guys in a second. I'll show you guys what kind of distance test I can get on the pump that's in here. If we go look in here, we have a nice little white box. I'm probably gonna put some United Exterior cleaning stickers on here opening up the box. Okay, we have our charger right here. Boom. Okay, now we have a seven gallon per minute Remco pump is powering everything. We have our NOCO battery charger. So if you get to the shop or you get to your house, you wanna plug in, all you gotta do is plug in right there and that's gonna charge the whole system. Okay, nice battery. Ryan did supply me with some extra filters for the water fed pole, so super cool there. And we do have a circuit breaker right there. So let's say I'm like roof cleaning and I'm up there spraying the roof or something, it might be a good idea to turn off that breaker because that way that breaker is gonna turn off the power to our hose reels. Because if one of my guys were to go over to the, my reels and accidentally hit the button to reel up the hose and I'm on the roof spraying a roof, that could easily knock me over because the power from those reels are pretty powerful. And so if I'm up here spraying a roof and I'm kind of like sitting here balancing and all of a sudden the, I get a nice tug from the reel, that could easily throw me off the roof it could throw my, my hose line right off the roof. And so it's nice if you're doing roof cleaning, you have a way of turning off the power to your reels. That way, none of those accidents can possibly happen. All right, closing up your little toolbox here. Going around, we have our nice little switch. Okay, this is gonna turn off and on your soft wash box. And then right here is gonna be your soap and your degrease tank. Now, if you are up north, now this is the other thing that's really, really cool about Brian Gear and All Clean Power Wash Systems is they think about you northern guys that have snow and winter problems. This, for you north guys, would be your winterized tank. Okay, so what you could do, you can, you can see we have a nice bulkhead right here, and this right here actually goes down here, okay? And it actually, I'll work my way up here. We have a nice little three-way banjo valve, okay? So that one that goes to your winterized tank is right here. So if I am in New York or anywhere up where it's really, really cold, and I want to winterize my setup, instead of you know unhooking everything and 
manually putting winter free or antifreeze in there. All I gotta do is fill this baby up with antifreeze, go up to my banjo valve right here, turn that facing the other way towards my tank, and then run my power washer. Now I'm power washing antifreeze through my pumps, which is super, super cool. And then right back here is the same thing for your soft wash system. So right now I'm pulling water. If I wanna winterize my soft wash system, all I gotta do is go back here, turn it up, and now I'm pulling from my antifreeze tank. So now I can winterize my soft wash system, I can winterize my power washer, all from the turn of one banjo valve and one little blue valve on the side. So something that would take maybe an hour, literally takes minutes with the way this uh, system is designed. But because I'm in Texas, I'm in Austin, Texas, I never have to worry about winterizing maybe one week out of the year, if that, depending on the weather. I don't use this for a winterized tank, so I'm never gonna keep any antifreeze in here. This right here is my degrease tank. I have gold assassin in this tank. It's a little diluted right now. So if I'm like cleaning parking lots or you know I need oil stains or whatnot, all I would have to do is come over here and flip it to my degreaser. Okay, now I'm shooting straight degreaser on something. So super cool if I ever need it. I never have to take out a gallon or a little pump up sprayer and spray degreaser. I always have degreaser in this tank. And if I ever need to spray it straight, turn the valve, I'm spraying degreaser. Over here is my Serp Actic tank. So this is the tank that's on my blend manifold. I keep a nice citrus surfactant in here from the power wash door in San Antonio. I can just go right over here. The soap from that tank is the middle soap valve on here, right there. And it's also pulling on this one. So the soap that's in that tank powers my blend manifold soap and my downstream injector soap. So super, super awesome there. Another really, really cool touch that Brian did is this is our chemical tank right here. It has this nice little tube going out the top. So what's cool about this is if you have a bleach tank and it's always sealed and it's really, really, really hot. Well, the tank could start gassing up and expanding and whatnot. I experienced a lot of this a year or two ago when the, when the summer was like 105 degrees, it was crazy. So having a nice little tube, a way that the bleach gases can escape the bleach tank without expanding this tank and you know boiling it out is a really, really cool touch. So I think this is actually crucial in the hot summers, especially here in Texas. All right, so what I thought I'd do is do a little distance test for you guys. Okay, we got a seven gallon per minute pump in there. I'm pulling straight water, not gonna waste any bleach or anything. But what cringes me when I see these guys doing distance tests is they do a distance test this way, okay? And obviously when you're going just straight this way, it's gonna be longer than when you would be going straight up in the air. I mean, this is basic gravity, okay? So I do cringe when I see people do this because there's gonna be no point in your wash business when you're cleaning like this. Okay, I mean, even if you are, you're using a fan tip, you're never gonna use the needle. Okay, so straight in the air, like let's be realistic here. And I would say this gutter up there, we're probably 25, 30 feet up there. Okay, that's going clear up there. That chimney is probably 35. I can kind of see some black up there. And I'm hitting it. Okay, so the seven gallon per minute pump is gonna do everything you can need it to do. You don't need to go a gas system. Okay, those things are like three or four grand. This baby right here is a couple hundred bucks for a 12 volt. I only go 12 volts mainly. I never really need a gas system. I don't need to do the whole gas system on a trailer or on a skid. 100% of the time, unless I'm cleaning 80 foot buildings, I will only need to use a 12 volt. And if anything ever happens to it, all I gotta do is it's a hundred dollar fix, switch the pumps and I'm back in business, okay? So it is. Really easy. What's up guys? I'm Brian Gear with All Clean Power Wash, All Clean Power Systems in Virginia. Uh, we're here with Austin who is picking up one of our flagship models on our skid model, our All Clean Pro Plus here. Just to let you know, you can pick these up. We have about a six to eight week lead time right now. We do the trailers or the skids. Uh, you can jump into the queue. You know, for any of the guys out there that have been stuck in the uh, unfortunate situation with the other builders out there, uh, who are kind of going under and you've prepaid and gone through that situation uh, we are offering you guys a 10 percent discount for any of our builds you can just check out our website allcleanpowersystems.com all our builds are listed out there and that's all i got for you all right you guys that's gonna be it for this video hope you guys got some really, really cool value out of this video you guys checked out my new skid if you guys are interested in a skid like this do hit the link down in the description that's brian gear with all clean power wash systems in waynesboro virginia you can pick it up from him he can ship it to you if you guys want to go with click lease or any other leasing companies you can get this on payments prices start anywhere from sixteen thousand, and they go all the way up to 25 28 000, depending on if it's a skid a trailer you got eight gallon per minute five gallon per minute window cleaning not window cleaning you can customize it all yourself and the website is just phenomenal. You can clearly and very, very easily customize anything you want and you can go through the whole payment system there. If you use code Austin Davis 5 
you will get 5% off, which can basically equal anywhere from $800 all the way up to $2,000 off, depending on the final price. But I'm so excited to get this thing in the work field, and I'm gonna be doing it tomorrow. I got a full day out washing. We're actually booked out two weeks right now, so I'm super, super stoked about that. If you guys wanna follow me on Instagram, Austin underscore Davis 23, you guys can stay more up to date on what I'm doing out in the field. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. Peace out.